Hello everybody, uh, my name is Jean-Marc Bast, I'm thoracic surgeon in Rouen University Hospital and I'm very pleased to welcome you in our brand new medical training center in Rouen, Normandy, France. Um, I'm very uh, happy to introduce the CTSnet series um, on NoTech. The objective of this series is to highlight the importance of NoTech in cardiothoracic surgery by presenting different initiatives to improve patient safety and surgical performance. To this, will not take is a matter of culture and is hard to implement in surgical training. Communication, cooperation, decision making, leadership, situational awareness are concepts for many and their application in surgical practice is challenging. The competency framework in cardiothoracic surgery it has evolved towards wider components, including Notex as a cornerstone in surgeon teaching. Knowledge of Notex should be associated with practical session using simulation as an innovative teaching tool. Our faculty will present different aspects of Notex and how to teach them. Gianluca, who is involved in Notex STS course, will describe the large spectrum of Notex. René will explore the shared mental model in a VATS team. Joel will describe team training with crisis resource management during cath lab procedure. And I will present our CRM program for RAT procedure. There are th three dimensions to non-technical non skills. The interpersonal dimension as communication, teamwork, the cognitive dimension as decision-making, situational awareness, and the personal resource skills as coping with stress and fatigue. All of this impact technical performance. Robotic platform modifies team organization and communication. Simulation could be an innovative tool to improve these skills. Simulation is a valuable tool for team training especially for rare and severe events. This fosters team performance as coordination, communication, cooperation, leadership, decision-making, mutual trust, control stress, and also improves patient safety. In this work, Serfolio et al. described the human qualities to deal with severe vascular tear as the four Ps. Poise, pressure, preparation, and proximal control. And to develop these skills, simulation is probably the best tool. We started our program in 2014 to improve our safety and performance. We have described an emergency checklist, the code RED, to deal with perioperative major complication. To apply this program, uh, to apply sorry, this cognitive tool, um, we have developed an in-situ multidisciplinary simulation program we called INMUSIP. Recently, we have transferred this program in our training center also for French residents. This simulation program follows the classic framework of simulation with a briefing period the scenario and the debriefing. This program was also inspired by the major, this major publication which emphasized importance of simulation and emergency checklist. You are going to see the briefing with a checklist. The trainee surgeon will describe perfectly the patient identity, anatomical variation and the operative planning uh, the objective of this part is to improve the communication between the anesthesiologist team and the surgeon team. The operative setting, trocar positioning, docking, uh, uh, has been done by uh, the trainee. This part is very important to enter or to emerge in a realistic scenario. As you can observe, all the team um, are in the or operative room, which again improve the reality of the scenario, we can say that is a high fidelity simulation. The major problem 
is the organization of an in-situ simulation due to logistics and human resources. The trainee surgeon at the console simulates robotic dissection, which can be seen by the full team on the top right screen. This increases the fidelity of this scenario. The trainee surgeon explains and communicates with the team using secure communication. This is characterized by simple, clear orders which are repeated by the team. This, present, uh, this prevents miscommunication and bad cooperation. If you look at the uh, right top screen, you will notice the complication with the pulmonary tear perfectly controlled by clamping the artery by the tip-up instruments. What is the situational awareness? It's an old lady with fragile tissue and a posterior tear with the stapler. The decision making is to declare code red with conversion, call for help, and here in this situation there is no stress due to control bleeding, so you have time to organize conversion. What is the code red? This is our emergency checklist. The first thing to do is call for help for all the teams, the anesthetic team, the paramedics, and also the surgical team. Here, the surgeon is a leader. He has to explain what's happened, and uh, he has to clearly describe the accident uh, to the team. What is important to understand in minimal invasive surgery, uh, that you have um, the possibility of a cardiac arrest if you are not if you don't manage to clamp properly or compress properly the tear, and uh, a cardiac arrest is not death. The objective of the surgeon is to control the PA injury without worsening the tear. For the anesthetic team and for the paramedics, the objective is to control the hemorrhagic shock and to call for a defibrillator. During these seconds, the trainee surgeon and the team have to follow the emergency process, which is the code red. You can see the calmness of the team. This is due to good communication, good cooperation, and good leadership, because of course the tear, the tear is controlled with less stress. In case of uncontrolled bleeding, this emergency process should be done in the same order, but faster. In the next seconds, you will see how the team is organized and how the surgeon explains the surgical strategy to repair the tear. Once again, the trainee, who is the leader, has to explain by clear communication the situation and the strategy to all the team. He has to lead the process. The decision taken is to convert anteriorly uh, to repair um, this posterior tear. You will see 
a second complication due here to bad technical decision. The second surgeon arrives and you will see communication with, between all actors to explain properly the situation and the strategy. You will see in these seconds uh, the second surgeon who arrives. Don't hesitate to repeat what you have already explained to keep the team on the same page. This is what we call the share mental model. The second surgeon proposes to the trainee to change over. If the main surgeon played by the trainee feels competent to fix the problem, he can continue. If not, he has to hand over to the second surgeon. In the next sequence, you will see a major bleeding during unclumping the artery with difficulties to control without withholding the tear. This is a stressful event and keeping good communication is hard. The presence of a friend, the second surgeon, helps to maintain calmness. The strategy must be shared to avoid stress contamination. The next sequence will show a ventricular fibrillation due to major bleeding. Cardiac massage and defibrillation will be performed. Communication and cooperation between all the team is paramount. When the cardiac event is settled with good hemodynamics, the surgeon can start to repair after 5 to 10 minutes, not before, because a second event could this time uh, kill the patient. When the stress is over, the team as to organize the next step, ICU admission and crisis communication with the family. At the end of the scenario, start the debriefing. A structured approach is recommended. It is one of the most important momentum of this team simulation. The next third sequence you will present the same team simulation, but this time in our medical training center. This environment is less realistic, but allows to deal with logistic and human resources issues. Despite a less realistic scenario, the objectives of this team simulation, good communication, good cooperation, use of emergency checklist, stress management, all these are analyzed properly, allowing a good debriefing. 
this fosters optimal training for all the team. To conclude, in-situ simulation for crisis management is worthwhile and efficient. Briefing is respected by our team in more than 80%. Unfortunately, in-situ inception is complex. That's why it's probably easier to organize in a medical training center. Our objective is to validate our code red with an international validation with a panel of experts. Operative safety, especially in thoracic surgery, should be integrated in the surgical curriculum during surgical training. Team training program should be repeated to improve skills. This kind of initiative will change the surgical culture with a safety culture as aeronautics, with no blame culture and teamwork. Thank you for your attention.